Hello everyone, it's Cannon Fodder again and we're going to try to do a second attempt on the uh, I'm, I'm renaming it to the Firebug Challenge because I like that term a lot better. It is the Arsonist Challenge that either I subconsciously grifted from the Planet Planet <laughs> Project Zomboid forums or I, I don't know, maybe I came up with it myself. I can't remember. If I didn't then who cares? I think it's a cool little challenge anyway. And uh, we're going to try it again. And hopefully it lasts a little bit longer than I think it was 3 days and 11 hours. So as my dude spins in circles, i got to decide on what kind of profession I want and go from there. Now, last time I did, I was a little ironic and I was fire officer. But I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to go construction worker just because hopefully, you know, I can not suck and get infected. Because uh, that's what happened last time. Yeah, whatever. Barricades would be nice too, so let's just go ahead and try this out. See what happens. I'm really excited. Um, they've got on the main website where they are, they, Project Zomboid is basically talking about um, getting some pro mofos in on the programming and streamlining this. I can't remember if I've said this before, but um, if I did, I'm sorry for the repetition. If not, yes, they're having a lot of progress actually streamlining the program and making it better for everybody, reducing load times, um, making it more efficient so it doesn't look like a third grader actually programmed this, even though I have no pro programming experience at all, so I'm not insulting them. That's pretty much their own words. They're just like, we're happy to have somebody pro, more or less, to do this. So, it's kind of nice. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to the uh, map transition and the save features and all that stuff. I know I've said that before, but uh, it's worth reiterating. And to all those commenting about running, I know about running. I do run on occasion, and I do run out in front of zombies a decent amount, and I understand the implications thereof. It's it's kind of partly a habit, part of just needing to try to get the, get away from them as quickly as possible, especially when you're fatigued. When you're fatigued, um, kind of sucks anyway. So you're just trying to get away without getting eat up and you can't really swing a weapon efficiently anyway so I don't know if I do it and I look like a tard it's okay just go with it I'm gonna cook some of this food up while I can I'm gonna drink my some wrong one drank it drank it alright let's see if we can cook some of this up and apparently you do not have to have food in there I was unsure. I could have sworn you had to have food in the oven to actually make the surrounding area burn down. If not, who cares? I'm just going to leave it on anyway and burn the freaking place down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We'll burn everything down as much as we can, and we'll try not to get too drunk to the point where we pass out, but I do need to drink one at a time, um, so that way the the bottles just don't disappear like last time prefer that not to happen. Um, so I have more bottles. I do need to find... I, I know where I need to go ultimately. I need to go to that cabin in the woods. But what I might do is this first round stay in this particular building and then after I stay in this building I'll exit after the night's passed and yeah, burn it to the ground. <laughs> Come on, steak. Come on, steak. Thank you. Alright, let's look for what else. We got lighter, good. That's good. Don't have to look for that. I really, really, really want them to add some unarmed combat, and I'm, uh, 
it's not that I want it to be abused, but I want you to have the ability to be able to defend yourself even if you get caught off guard without a weapon. I'm not saying it has to do a spectacular amount of damage. I'm not saying, you know, you get to be Chuck Norris or anything. I just would like some a little bit more a uh, little bit more options when it comes to not having any weapons. I mean, shit, you can still increase the likelihood of you getting scratched and bitten. Um, I mean, I, I'm I'm willing to to cope with that, but you got to give us some options when we don't have any kind of weapons on us. It'd be really nice to see something like that come out. All right. Well, I'm probably gonna go down a few levels and then have this dude pass out because it's what uh, 6:30 in game, so. I still got some time before. I'd like to try to get him to bed <laughs> around probably midnight, at least, at the very least. That way, he's not waking up. And, oh, hey, what's up? He's not waking up um, too early, and I have to go wandering around too early. All right, so I don't have any kind of Molotovs yet, so we can take that bat. I am gonna take those nails. Getting a hammer would be nice, but it's not really necessary. Hope to goodness that survivor doesn't come in and try to just murder me. If it does, this is going to be a short, short play, play game. Play through game. Play. Dang. Derp, 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 derp. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying right now. So yeah, I'm, I really want to do more pl uh, Project Zomboid. I keep saying like Planet Zomboid, Project Zomboid uh, videos, but there's just not a lot of variety right now, so it's it's hard to keep myself motivated, especially with school and work and things of that nature. But I'm gonna try keeping keeping them flowing as much as possible, um, just because I know a lot of people are interested in it, and they are fun. They really are fun, but it gets to a point where you see the same shit over and over, and that's not fun to me. And nor nor should I subject you guys to that. I mean, I, I know that a lot of people like them, and it's possible that you know it might help get me more uh, subscribers. But for the people that see the same shit over and over, you're gonna get disinterested. And I want to make it appealing to everybody as much. It wasn't even 12. Whatever. He's going to sleep. Um, I want to make it appealing to everybody. And I don't know. It it's like when I watch other. Um, other people I'm subscribed to, um, like the big names, I won't go into too many of them, but like, uh, I don't know. It's like if you're watching Scene Enters, and he, you really got into it for the Modern Warfare uh, playthroughs, or, you know, multiplayer game plays that he does, and then he stops doing them, which, I mean, honestly, he has for the most part. Um, and you just become kind of disheartened, and uh, it gets kind of sucky if you're going to be only there for the Modern Warfare playthroughs, and you don't actually appreciate him as a gamer, and I kind of feel that's how it should be with everybody, it's kind of idealistic, I understand, but, um, I don't know, I think everybody deserves variety, even if they're wanting to stick with one particular game, um, if there's other things out there that you can actually show them, and I say we, like, as a, um, uh, quasi director if you even consider myself that um, you know there's other games out there that you can actually show people I, fuck I missed a damn alcohol bottle up top didn't I sorry I need to get rid of one anyway because I'm busy blabbing around um, but there's a lot of other games out there that you can show individuals especially if maybe they don't have the money to buy the games or anything like that I think it's just in, in my best interest to uh, make people excited about games because, um, as I said in previous episodes, I would like to be a game developer eventually. That's something that in my in my future I hope to see. Um, I'm burning this place down, by the way, and I'm leaving after I get this other alcohol bottle. So it, I don't know. It just it seems intuitive to my end goals as being a game developer to get people excited for games because it just makes sense 
Um, and not necessarily my game, just games in general with interesting plots, premises, and gameplay. Um, like Project Zomboid, this is not graphic intensive at all. I mean, for fuck's sake, it's JavaScript. Um, you know, they, or Java, pardon me, they programmed it in, in Java. And it's not necessarily a very high tech way of doing something, but it works. And it's very entertaining. And what I find entertaining, even in some of the one-shots that I do, is making it fun. You know, even if for one playthrough it's not really spectacular. Um, this is probably a bad way to go. Uh, <laughs> even if uh, through one playthrough it's not very fun to play, um, I still like to make it as entertaining as possible, just for the very fact that... Uh, I don't know. You gotta look on the bright side. If a game sucks, and you know it sucks, <laughs> you just gotta go with the flow. It's kinda like watching a really, really sucky movie. You know it's gonna suck, but, like, come on. Might as well just make the best of it. You already wasted the money or the time. There's no point getting getting your panties in a wad. Just, uh, just go for it. You know, I always pick up a shit ton of drugs, and I rarely use any of them. Like, I always just use, uh, what, maybe painkillers, and occasionally sleeping tablets, and that's it. That's literally it. Alright, so we're going to drink the rest of this whiskey, and then I'm going to, I guess, go to bed. And hopefully not wake up with zombies on my face. I don't know. If you guys have any have any differing opinions, don't be afraid to share them. Um, if you think I play with a nub or play with uh, play like a nub, um, you could share it. I might not be a hundred percent receptive to it, but I do understand that there are different ways to play this game, especially with the running. I do run a lot. That's just how I am. Um, if I do it out in the middle of some zombies, it's usually for a reason. Um, it's either reactionary because I think they're going to get me anyway, or whatever, but I do know you can walk past a lot of them, like outside, just before it didn't run like crazy because there was a shit ton of them down there, and I don't want to get my face hit, eaten off. You know, I don't even need that damn thing. I don't need that flashlight. Get it out of here. Or that pen. What the fuck did I pick up a pen for? Let's eat more. Maybe I could, uh... uh... Why did I do that? Please tell me at least give me the bottle. No, shit, I should have put that up before I drank it. It's alright. Can I go back to bed? No. He'll be tired soon, surely. But I got four empty bottles, which should be good. At least enough for me to get over there. And where are some sleeping tablets? Some sleeping tablets, please. See, it's doing the same thing with the sleeping tablets. I just noticed that now. That's a that's a glitch they probably need to fix because normally each tablet or each uh, bottle of drugs has a durability and you can chew through about two or three bottles if you have a stack of four before it starts just eating away at the individual durability so that's something that they definitely need to fix. Um, yeah. <laughs> the more drugs the better. Nom 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 nom. Alright, that's a lot of blood over there. That's a dead dude, too. Alright, so I know I slept in here twice, but I am still going to burn it down. I, I did kind of break that rule, I guess. You have to forgive me. Try my best to keep... Keep my rules as much as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to go upstairs real quick before I uh, set fire this place. Because I do need a hammer. I doubt it's going to be in here, but... Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah. I was ready for that. I was like, I know something's going to be up here. I went to sleep with a zombie in the same house. Not bad. And I bet they're knocking on my door. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and make... Uh... How many of them? At least, at least three. 
I mean, that's probably way too much, but you never know. I'll probably need. Uh, let's go in here. I'll probably need bandages anyway. Anybody in here? There's a hammer in the kitchen, please, maybe. Eh, more nails. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's eat that cooked salmon before uh, before it goes bad. Maybe there's some more alcohol. I will take that chocolate though. This is gonna be bad. I hear him down there. They want me. All right. Let's see what the damage is. That's a lot of zombies. Sorry, I'm really quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm staring intently at my screen right now. Not wanting to die. Take a comp and let's go around. That's not good. There's a fuck ton of zombies over there. Where the hell did they come from? Alright, is there a door out this other way? I could have sworn there was. No, it, it, it just goes into the other room. That's right. Nope. I'm just gonna walk away. I'll walk away. My peoples are yelling at me to walk more. And I will walk more. Even though running is probably a little bit more appropriate right now. Because the dude's shitting his pants. Alright, so that's locked. I really need to get in there. Is that locked? No, good. Turn around. Nothing. Okay, good. Whatever. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Gas. Oh, I fucking don't need that much wood, but that's fine. We just want gas for the most part. Still no hammer. Having no hammer is kind of irritating, actually. Uh Yeah, I know you're not gonna get in. That's fine. Oh, damn it. See I need to get in there for a hammer. Oh shit! I fucking tarted that up. That's fine. I didn't get bit. I thought it was just gonna be like two. No, it was fucking 80 of them. Little dude's heart's beating. Are you shitting me? Mm. Okay, let's look around. Sorry, I'm trying to... I know an alarm's gonna go off. That's fine. It does. I'm just grab a hammer and I'm gonna leave. That's all I'm gonna do. Just make sure nothing's behind me. Okay, we're good. Good, good. Grabbing a hammer. Of course I'm overburdened now. Um, toss up something. Okay, well I can keep one. That's fine. Go ahead and start combining shit. Put that in there. Uh, put that in there. Put my nails. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at the same time. How is that overburdening me? Come on, man. Whatever. Eat your super bread and let's fucking go. Eat more. Eat more and be cooler. Shit, wrong button. Go blarry him! Blarry him! Blarry him! Blarry him! <laughs> I'm a Marlin man! Alright. Well, we got time. Let's go ahead and. Secondary. Get out of here. Um. Where are my sheets 
said. And the bottles. <laughs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if we can get... That fucker saw me a mile away. I don't like that. Let's see if we can get into the park. Start burning some more zombies. Look at those! Look at that! Whatever. I'm running. All right, Zambie Town. Where you at? Where you at? Won't you take me to Zambie Town? I got one more. Oh, gotta run. Oh, don't catch yourself on fire. That would be bad. Alright, so I, I can go back to my bats. Because I no longer have Molotovs, but I am gonna let those fuckers burn. Let that whole park just set on fire. Don't care. But I do have to make my way back into that cabin. Otherwise, I'm gonna be screwed. Or someplace, doesn't really matter where, but I prefer the cabin just because I know it's got more gasoline, possibly more bottles. <laughs> Buy them! <laughs> Don't scare me! <laughs> Maybe I should have taken that flashlight. Uh, future games, I am finishing up. Uh, Space Marine. I've actually played all of it. I just have to encode and do all that. I keep doing that. I still have to basically...